Dude, my boss was a straight dickle today. Really? Yeah. Well, are you ready to take that dickle? What? Alec is what you would call a virgin of the dickle. What? Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven. I'm Alec. And today we got a good old review of George Dickel Tennessee Whiskey Bottle and Bond. Yeah! Now, before we get into that though, please do us a favor, like and subscribe, comment, and uh, we're gonna get back into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into the truth. So, right here, what we got is George Dickel Tennessee Whiskey. This is bottle and bond, so you know it's at 100 proof. Ooh. And this happens to be, it was somewhere on the bottle, age 13 years old. And this whiskey, unlike most whiskeys we review, is a weird, funky, whiskey brand that I've heard a lot about, but I only found out what it truly meant yesterday and Alex about to learn today. So yeah, pretty much 50% uh, ABV, bottle and bond, age 13 years old. That's a and big age. This came out at I think $45. I'd have to check the receipt, uh, but roughly around $45. And honestly, I just bought it because I was interested. I've heard enough about Dickel where I was like, I want to say. Steve's a big fan of Dickel. Yeah. Not really, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get on the nose of this one. Okay. So me like super honey. Yeah, like caramel vanilla. Lots of citrus. Yeah. A little bit of like a bacon smell, actually. Slight bacon. I'm getting like oranges, oranges and lemons. Like a pledge. A pledge. Yeah, like pledge, because it's like a woody orange. Yeah, definitely a lot of that. It's just, I'm getting a little bit of bacon on this dude. Like a slight undertone of bacon. I'm not gonna say you're wrong, but dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. You're wrong. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Yeah, there is like, uh, I don't, I, I hope it's not my mind playing tricks on me because I've heard enough about like the Dickel Funk. The Dickel Funk. Going into it. Uh, but like, I get like a very like chalky smell. Chalky. Are we talking chalky like, like chalkboard chalk? Are we talking chalky So like... you, you know that street chalk? Yeah. So the orange street chalk, that's what I think of because it smells like oranges. Oh yeah, like like a really old like yeah. orange creamsicle kind of thing that you like, yeah. left out. It's it's like ooh, on that note though, it's uh like a like an ice cream, like a vanilla yeah. ice cream with like the orange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like That's what I'm talking about. about. Yeah, like a uh, one of those popsicles. Yeah, but, like, yeah. If you like dropped it in a bucket of chalk yeah. with oak. Right. Yeah, so you you ate the popsicle stick with it too. Duh. All right, let's taste this. Crayons. This smells like an orange crayon. <laughs> no orange crayon. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm very indifferent about this bottle. It's interesting. But I don't think it's a good interesting. I think it's an interesting interesting because I, I get like your very typical like bourbon notes. I get your yeah. like caramels, your honeys, your super sweet vanillas. Like it's right. vanilla ice cream, a nice bit of oak, a little bit of like this like nutty aspect, like a almost like an almond if I had to pick a specific nut. Um, but on top of that almond characteristic, I'm getting this like chalky vitamin orange, like orange Flintstone vitamins. Okay. And I hope it's not my mind playing tricks on me because I've heard a lot of people describe this funk as that. And I was like, mm, I doubt it. I tried it and literally I can't. It's like okay. chalky and orange. I can kind of see what you're saying. I'm not going to go full chalky orange flavored, but um. Well, I'm being a little dramatic. It's like this weird like. It's like a creamy vanilla with like an orange. Yeah, but the orange is like not orange. It's yeah, like it's like fake orange. Yeah, there's there's a weird astringent like chalky nutty oak that I get like about like three quarters of the way through the palate. Right, really. Right. Like, 
Oh, it kind of like evaporates into your nose a little bit. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's that dry feeling. It's dry as yeah. heck. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, um, mm. finish is moderate though. Yeah, I'm a little impressed with the finish. I mean, I guess it is 13 years old. It's like, not, yeah, like it's not bad. I don't want to say it's heinous. It's just not, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite whiskey. Finish is good. Mouth feels good. It's a little bit too dry and it has this weird astringent, nutty, mm. oak, chalk there, but I do really like the orange. I like I the orange this right reply, before it hits that chalky point. Yeah, this would probably actually be really good in old fashioned. Oh, maybe. I could see that. Because yeah, if there's just a little extra flavor that could mask that weird kind of, yeah, that, like puffy, like, Chalk. It's it's yeah, weird to say it's, chalk, but chalk, you know. Yeah, I can't think. It's of not smoky. Term it's too. not dusty. It's not anything like that. But it's like that, like air, like air particle kind of like weird sensation that you just get in your mouth and your nose. Yep. It's just weird. Three quarters away. It's just a stringent, like sharp, spiky, chalky, oaky, nutty chalk bust. And it just bust. it like it zaps all the moisture out of your mouth. It, it does. takes it. I wonder what how, I wonder what that comes from. That's like a really interesting. Not a clue. That's so cool. But though. that is what we would call the dickle funk. Yeah. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta try it to know. And this I, bottle I makes me think that I should be in the 80s and I should be. Was it the 80s or was it the 70s? Well, I don't know. One of the two. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was alive. Alright, anyway. Okay. So regardless. $45, Dickle, George of the Dickle, G -D. what grade do you give it? I'm gonna give this GD, um, I'd say it's worth a B minus, you know? It's like, like you said, it's interesting, it's different, it has potential, the price point's not terrible, um, but this is again one of those, like, bourbons that you have to understand are very situational. They're not all the time. They're yeah. not like a daily. They're not something you want to like be busting out for, you know, just dinner. This is like, hey man, you want to screw around, try something new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it a B minus as well. I think it's good-ish. It's, it's okay. It's, it's not heinous by any means. It's just not what I wanted. Like, I I really don't like that drying, chalky, woody nut part at like three quarters of the way in. Like, I like the first three quarters, and that's very interesting. I like the orange, I like the citrus, but then that whole thing just zaps the whole vibe for me. I still want to know the what finish does isn't that. great. Uh, or, well, the finish is good. It's just like the rest of that three, the rest of the last quarter of the whiskey, it's just. Well, yeah, and there's definitely whiskeys that we've reviewed in the past that same thing. It's like good until it hits yeah. a point and then it's bad. Yeah, and so I think this, theoretically, I would be willing to try more of it. I just, this offering is not the one for me. Yeah, like, but so, throw it in a little It's not heinous. B minus. Plus, if I'm in a bad mood, but I'm feeling optimistic today. So if you put this up against a better bottle, you'd probably be like, "Wow, that is shite." Yeah, I was like, "This first first whiskey of the day," so like maybe we just don't like understand life at this point. But you know, B minus it is. Fair enough. But please do us a favor: like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about this video. Let us know what you think about this bottle. If we graded this unfairly or if we were too nice to it, please let us know. I'm kind of confused. Yeah. It's yeah. like a love-hate bottle. Right, we need So I don't know it. if a B minus is a great score for it because I don't want to be overly harsh, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, it's not good, it's not good. whatever. Yeah. All right. But anyway. Uh, also check out the Instagram and the Facebook. Uh, we have videos coming out twice a week. Definitely come check us out and let us know what you think, okay? But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a wrap on G GD over here. GD? GD. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later. Cheers.